Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer software testing interview question 244. That is, what is beta phase of software? Let me answer. So software has several phases, okay? Or software goes through several phases where beta phase is one of the software phases, okay? While the software is getting developed or during or while the software is getting released into the market, software has to go through several phases like pre-alpha phase, which is the first phase of software. After pre-alpha phase, software will go into the alpha phase, which is the second phase and beta phase, which is a third phase of the software. After alpha phase is completed, then beta phase of the software will start, which is the third phase of the software. Then followed by beta phase, we have release candidate, that is RC phase. And finally, the last phase of software stable, general availability phase, okay? So beta phase is the third phase of the software. So what happens in this beta phase? Here in beta phase, the software will be given to the customers for testing purpose, okay? which is the third phase of the software and software will be released guys, okay? Here, till now, in pre-alpha phase, alpha phase, the software was not released. But in beta phase, for the first time, the software was released to the customers, but not for their use, okay? The purpose is, the purpose of releasing the software to the customers is not for using, rather it is for testing purpose, okay? It is for testing purpose. Software is not given to the customers or end users, for using purpose, rather it is given for a testing purpose in the beta phase, okay? So beta testing will be performed in this phase. Hence, beta testing will be performed in this phase. In pre-alpha phase, which is the first phase, okay? The developers will start working on the software. Here, testing will not start. In pre-alpha phase, which is the first phase, developers have started developing the software, okay? The development of the software has just started, okay? And here testing is also not started, okay? Testing is not started in this phase. And software is not released into the market in any way. That is pre-alpha phase. And after the pre-alpha phase, we have the alpha phase in which the formal testing starts, which is the second phase. And here testing starts, not only by testers, but also developers will start the testing. That is unit testing, integration testing, then testers will do the system testing. After that user acceptance testing will also start in the alpha phase but not the complete user acceptance testing. In alpha phase, only one type of user acceptance testing that will be performed, that is alpha testing, okay? Which will be done by the client side business people, not the end users, okay? The client side people who know the business well will move to the developer site, okay? And sit with the developers and, and uh, make sure that the software is being developed according to the user needs and expectations, according to their checklist and business knowledge, okay? So once the software is ready, okay? Once the software is completed, the alpha phase will be completed. So here also the software is not released to the general public or end users for their use, okay? Just alpha testing is done. After the alpha phase is completed, then beta phase of the software will start where this is the third phase of the software. And here for the first time, the software is released to the customers or end users for testing purpose, not for using purpose. Just focus here, guys, okay? I am not saying the software is released into the market. Here, software is released into the market. That is to the customers only in the market. But the problem is not for their usage purpose, for their testing purpose, for testing purpose, for taking the feedback from the end users or real customers, software is released, software is released into the market in the beta phase, okay? Here, beta testing is being performed, okay? Beta testing will be performed in this beta phase of the software. And um, as part of beta testing, there are two types of beta testing that can be performed. That is open beta release may happen, okay? As part of performing beta testing by releasing the software into the market to the end users or real customers for testing purpose, the software may get released into the market as open beta release, where to all the public, that is complete public, the software will be released. Or closed beta, either the company may may take a decision of not going for open beta where complete public may, may not be able to access. Rather, in closed beta, only a closed group of, only a few group of end users or real customers 
will be using the software with an intention of testing and providing the feedback back to the company okay it's not the real release guys it's not the real release okay so the release happens is not the real release and here beta testing may be performed as part of the open beta release of the software or closed beta release of the software okay so this is what is a beta phase of the software okay so hope guys you understood what is beta phase of the software so that's all for this session in the next session i'm going to answer another software testing interview question for you till then see you bye bye